So many of you asked me to share CISO tips and tricks. Here they are. These tips and hacks will save you time while preparing lesson plans in CISO and checking what your students turned in. The tips will be helpful for teachers who already know CISO basics, but if you need to get started with CISO, make sure to check out free CISO workshop. The link will be in the description below. Yes, always return to the icon shortcuts when you describe what students should do in the activity. I will leave the link in the description where you can get a CISO icon shortcuts. Make sure you record a voice instructions in all places, especially for young kids. Model the activity before your students complete them, at least at the beginning of the year or when you have new students. You can shoot a video with you talking and explaining the activity, or you can hit the mic, click record and complete the activity. This way the video of you doing the activity will be created and students will actually see what they need to do. Click copy and edit the activity and fill it out with relevant information each week. Let's talk about organization tips in Seesaw. First one is set an end day in the title. When you name an activity, write an end date in the title. Students and parents will know when to complete the activity. Also, it will be easier for you to review activities weekly and archive them. Pin a post or activity. What to do so the kids could find the Zoom class link easily? With recent CISA updates, you can pin a post to the top in your journal. When students log into their journal, it will be the first thing they see at the top in CISA. One more organization tip. Organize your library. Organize your library in CISO by grade levels, subject or skills. This way you can easily reassign activities or archive them. Schedule and archive your activities, otherwise your feed will get crazy for your students. Scheduling is available if you have CISO Plus or CISO for Schools. In order to archive an activity, click on three dots and choose Archive Activity. This tip is pretty basic, but not many teachers know about it. If you click the heart on a CISO activity once, it saves it to your library. If you click it the second time, you can add it to a collection, which is also great for organization. This is not about organization, but more about controlling how many notifications you are getting in Seesaw. You can turn off email and push notifications in your account settings. Use a link feature in many ways. With recent CISO updates, you can add a link of YouTube videos or other sites on page or link pages between each other, thus creating a continuous experience for students. Also, you can get a student link of any activity. How to do this? Click on the Activities tab, choose the activity you want, click on three dots and choose Get Student Link. This way, when you make a choice board of activities, you can link not only various videos from YouTube, activities from Google Slides, but also the activities in CISO itself. This feature is also helpful if you're using other platforms and want to link to CISO activities there, like Google Classroom or Schoology. Assign the first thing you want kids to see last. This tip is helpful when you have many activities to assign or you need a certain order for kids to follow. Of course, if the order doesn't really matter, you can just pin a certain activity post to the top. Encourage students to use microphone. This is the best feature in Seesaw. Encourage students to use microphone as much as possible. You'll hear them explaining their choice, sharing their opinion. If for some reason students want to complete the activity not virtually, but in print version, impossible of course, you can teach them how to print activities. Then they can add their response in Seesaw. So how to print activity. Choose the necessary activity, click on three dots, choose print activity. 
Then a PDF will be created with teacher instructions on the first page as well as a QR code which kids can scan with their device in Seesaw and add their response. On the next pages of that PDF there will be the activity itself, all pages included. Parents or students can save it and print or print right away. Then they should complete the activity by, for example, writing. Reflect. It's a capture and see extension that allows you to capture the screen or a certain area and then this image will automatically be uploaded to Seesaw as a background. But you must be logged in into Seesaw. I will link to this extension in the description. Did you know you can add PDFs to Seesaw and make them interactive? Yes, you probably have tons of teaching resources that you created yourself or bought on Teachers Pay Teachers. You can reuse these printables in Seesaw. Make sure to check the link in the description to the blog post where I mention every detail on how to add a PDF to Seesaw. Many teachers have asked me how to add Google Slides to Seesaw so that movable pieces, you know that drag and drop feature, could work. There is a way and I have a whole blog post with very detailed tutorial about this. Make sure to check out the link in the description. When you click on activities, click on a certain activity you assigned. You can see who responded and completed and check the work. Don't waste your time by checking assignments individually. If the response is gray, it means that the student didn't add his or her response. Thank you so much for taking time and watching this video with many Seesaw tips. If you'd like to learn more Seesaw tips, subscribe to my weekly Seesaw tips via email. Make sure to like this video, follow me and stay tuned for more tutorials.